hey guys and welcome back to another video so in this video we are to do something new from the last previous fashion of questions that we are doing so yeah i have a question for you all guys but in today's video the approach for solving this question would be a pretty different different okay so your question is to find the last index of uh, a particular number you are give you would be given an array okay but hey stop here only the catch here is that you have to do this question via using recursion you don't have to do uh, in the regular fashion you have to just flip the question and do in the order of recursion so what needs to be done is that say for example we have to find the last index of an element 2 so it should return me 3 why because the last index is uh, at index 3 we are having 2 okay so we are to return this okay say for example if in our uh, array we had an element instead of 2 we had an element 7 so there is no element of type 7 so we would be returning simply minus 1 so this is our problem statement so are you all ready to solve this problem so see we are to have a faith on our recursion okay so what that means is um i uh, i have a faith that whatever is there from index one till uh, the last index it would find uh, my recursion uh, recursive program would find uh, the index 2 that is the last uh, uh, index of this element and it would return back to me okay so from here this would uh, find me the element but our problem lies here also because we have to cover this this part also okay so we are having two parts in our array why two parts say for example if this two was not present in our first part okay but it had been present in our uh, second part say for example if uh, instead of one it would have two then we would be returning simply zero okay this was the uh, use of our part two okay so uh, what needs to be done is see we are having some cases in this what are those cases see that if in your smaller array that is from index 1 to 4 if you simply found the element then return the index okay if it is true then return it no proper uh, simple let's but if you uh, didn't get the answer if you are uh, if you get minus one uh, from this smaller array from one to four so now what would you do so now you have to compare this uh, array of one to four with uh, index zero if we found our element at index 0 then we would be returning simply this index else while we would return minus 1 o okay this was the catch here so yeah i hope you all understood this problem so first uh, you all try to solve this after that we would be coding this out so you can pause this video and can try a recursive solution for this program Okay, so let's now start with our code. okay guys so let's start with our main part or the main function here in the find last so what is our approach is that if our index value is equal to array dot length value we would return minus one okay 
and as we have discussed earlier what that we would be having two parts the part uh, one that is the smaller uh, smaller array guys and the part two the entire array your part one would be starting from index one and uh, your part two would be starting from uh, index that is two so now i would be making uh, starting with part one so in part one is uh, find your last element in this array starting with index plus one and the value so now i hope that this part would be giving me a value or it would give me minus one okay so i have a faith in this so if if your part one is not equal to minus one that means uh, it is giving me my last index of that element so return part one simple but else if now assume that your part one gave you minus one so now you would be going in else if now you check that your array at index is equal to your value so return the index now assume part one gave minus one and if you checked your index element with that particular value element you didn't found there then also uh, it would not go in the else if block so it would go in the else block then return minus one simple as that guys this was entire recursion logic for this program let's check this out okay so enter the number of elements i would be entering five one two three two and five see now it is returning me the third index of 2c 0 1 2 and 3 so third index of 2 is 3 let's check for some other elements uh, let's check for certain other elements see here also we found minus one so this was your program guys i hope you understood the program and you saw this question from a different point of view so that how your recursion would work uh, think upon this also and if you didn't understood that we would be going into the basics of recursion guys so yeah i hope you understood this well and if you find any doubts please feel free to comment down below thank you and do subscribe to the channel